Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, January, not January, geez, Eric, Tuesday, February 11th. 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the 11th of February, that does not mean it has to absolutely resonate at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So this is not going to necessarily resonate with everybody, nor is the whole thing going to resonate with you necessarily. Okay. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't yeah um uh, oh one announcement i want to make i did have a live session on instagram yesterday that is going to be uploaded to youtube sometime today probably late this evening um i might set that to go live maybe around 5 p.m tonight that sounds like a good idea um so look out for that uh also keep in mind just a heads up Moving forward, um, these Instagram live sessions are going to become are going to become members only um, videos in the future. Once I get the membership options, um, you know, lined up and squared away, um, I'm running into a little bit of actually a, of a roadblock with that because the in the person that I was wanted to work with to help me. Um, you know, with designs and a bunch of stuff like for custom emojis and merchandise and whatnot, whatever, their plate is quite full at the moment. So that's not happening the way I had hoped. Um, so I'm kind of throwing it out there. If any of you are like um, illustrators, graphic designers, whatnot, whatever, um, and you're interested in working with me to help me go through a little bit of a rebranding situation, um, I'm looking to redo the logo. I want to start creating merchandise and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so if any of you out there, you know, would like to collaborate or anything, hit me up, let me know, and we can chat, yeah? Um, so anyway, so the, the Instagram Live, those, I'm going to continue doing those and I'm going to continue uploading them for to Insta, uh, to YouTube here so you guys can watch them. But um, if you do want to watch them here, moving on down the road, eventually you're going to need to be a member of the channel in order to get full access to them. Otherwise, you could just watch me on Instagram, but they'll only be there for 24 hours then, yeah? And if, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're new to my channel and you don't know about my Instagram page, you can find me at divine underscore conversations. Yes? Excellent, guys. All right, so let's get into this pre-shuffle energy. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I almost didn't want to let this fall out. Now, when I was shuffling, um, I, excuse me, for the pre-shuffle, I did have my eyes closed, so I didn't know what was coming, but there was, it felt, but, but at one point there was like a whole stack, a huge, it felt like a huge stack of cards that was about to fall out. And I was like, oh no, oh no, no, no. This is only the pre-shuffle. I'm not about to take a big old card dump. Um, but then some of some of the cards still wanted to fall out and spirit said to me eric if they want to fall out let them fall out and i was like oh all right fine so i looked and it's none other than the page of cups the page of swords and the chariot yeah with strength this is strength but it's a different side of strength this is strength with the five of cups all right and this is energy that we've been talking about for it feels like forever it at this point it just kind of feels like the same messages are coming out over and over and over again. But what I am getting with this right now is that there is some sort of energy of momentum being built here, especially with this page of cups. Um, what I felt very strongly when I saw this page of cups is that someone is ready to move forward or at least someone is ready to make to send a message to make an offering of love, I guess. All right, um, Page of Swords here is also, it could be an energy of um, trying to figure out how to do it. And then the Chariot is that momentum behind that movement is like the actual movement, okay, is the, the, the incentive to get going. Now, here's what's, the thing about it is, um, and I'm not, I'm not actively saying that something is about to happen. You could receive a message sometime soon. You could, you could, you know, communicate with someone sometime soon something like that but ultimately this is just i really just kind of feel like this is the build-up this is the this is the 
the I, I'm hearing the process is getting started. Okay, but we have strength here, which is the side of in which you know you're fa you're literally facing the devil head on, and then there's the five of cups. But it's the back side of the five of cups where we see the rebirth after whatever has been released, the quote death that may have come from um, whatever it is you you know. You had to let go of you had to release that didn't go well blah 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 now speaking of counterparts here the masculine side has very much been in this five of cups energy for quite some time um but what i'm getting for you masculine if you're if you're a masculine counterpart here and you're watching this what I'm picking up on here is you're finding the strength to overcome that because the devil really has been balking at you has been laughing at you has been you know pushing your buttons and like pinching you and like you know squeeze and like twisting it and 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 just act just plain on plain on aggravating you um you know using this past against you using whatever this five of cups energy represents for you using that against you but it, what i feel like is happening here is you're finding a way to overcome this now and you're gaining the strength to move forward, even gaining the momentum to move forward. I, what I, and actually what I'm feeling here with the chariot is that you're starting to really realize what's really inside your heart. Um, and the fact that the devil really has no control over that. The devil can't take any of that away from you. All the devil can really do is work to um, cloud that, work to get you to um, you know, change your perspective on that. But ultimately you don't have to you don't have to give in to the devil if you don't want to you know what i mean the devil only has power over you if you give him that power sorry i'm trying to adjust my light here so that there's not so much glare but i mean i guess that's fine too anyway so i, I really i really feel like you're overcoming a lot of the devil's grasp um and it actually kind of feels like this is going back to um you know this has been part of your journey all along it's been part of a long healing process of really releasing the ties that the devil may have had over you for so long and it's almost as like it's almost as if this is like a last ditch effort on the devil's part to keep you under his thumb we'll say but it's not really working too well and what i'm also hearing is the, the difference now is you have the support of the divine feminine that's kind of bolstering you and helping you to keep the faith. The more the feminine sits in her own power and her own strength and autonomy and, you know, her own loving grace and whatnot, that really kind of helps boost your energies. It helps you get in tune, get in tune and in touch with your own inner feminine energies, which then helps you find the strength to face the devil head on and say, you know what? No, this is actually not true at all. What you're doing is just telling a bunch of lies okay okay all right that's cool that's really cool all right so let's reset here and then we will see what else we've got for you today oh look there's the two of cups <laughs> all right i'm gonna give this one shuffle and we'll see what we've got here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, February 11th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles. So here we go. Bear with me. We have one. Oops. Let's try that again. This is one. Two. Three. Four, 
And five. Okay. All right, so Tuesday, February 11th. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more pass. And then we'll see what the, I, my eyes are closed, guys. So I don't I don't know what's come out yet. Although I know a number of things have, <laughs> are flying all over the place. But all right, Tuesday, February eleventh. That's enough. Okay. Overall energy is the Ace of Wands, with the Three of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands, which is in reverse. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we also have the Queen of Swords. So let's talk about this. Because what I feel like is happening here, I feel like the Queen of Swords energy, um, and this really, could, we could really could be talking to the masculine here, all right? We really could be. Or maybe we're talking to the masculine energy within you. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just calling it like I feel it, and I do feel like this is kind of an energy of the masculine here, okay? That is utilizing, taking, 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 um, that is utilizing the Queen of Swords energy, okay? In order to release some, themselves, cut some chains, cut some ties, cut some burdens that they no longer wish to be carrying. That doesn't mean that it's not going to cause a problem because then we do have the five of wands here and it's, and it's the explosive side. Now, thankfully, it's not the five of swords. OK, um, it's really only the five of wands. So this just is this is just speaking to ego battles, tempers flaring, maybe people being infuriated, uh, infuriated by your decision to, to cut ties or to let them go. But ultimately, that's their own problem. <laughs> and it's not even like I'm not trying to be insensitive here. That's just the feeling of it. It's like, look, I've been carrying these burdens for too long, says this person. And it's no longer it was never my responsibility to begin with. I accepted this. I accepted this as my responsibility, but I no longer need to carry this. And so I'm going to free myself from it. And if you don't like it, I don't know what else to tell you, but sorry, but not sorry. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay, so this might end up in a heated argument. Tempers might flare. But ultimately, this is in a form of, this is a greater balance here. This is in a form of greater balance, greater material balance, greater physical balance for you, the two of pentacles. I also kind of feel like this is a little bit of a storyline where, you know, tempers may, may flare for a little bit, but then ultimately things will balance out with the two of pentacles. Okay, that's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. Yeah, look, and now the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is underneath the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands is also there, too. So, I'm not, not the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is under the Three of Wands, and then under the Nine of Pentacles is the Six of Wands. So, um, what I'm getting with what the Three of Wands is speaking to here is ultimately this is. I'm getting a strong energy of clearing things away from your path, clearing obstacles out of your way, clearing things out of your path that, um, again, no longer resonate with you or um, just no longer serve you, not something that you no longer want to be a part of, not something that you no longer want to hold on to, anything that would get in the way of what is truly meant to be on your path or in your life, whatnot, whatever. I just get a strong sense of clearing the area or clearing the path so that you can move forward confidently, um, clearly towards whatever it is you truly want to be a part of here. And there's definitely a level of independence, um, especially with that nine of pentacles that's underneath, like right here. There's this sense of autonomy and independence, free thinking, um, not being attached to the hive mind anymore. Oh, look, yeah, this Ace of Cups is under the Six of Wands. What's under the Ace of Cups then? The Three of Cups, that's nice. Um, it's no longer being part of the hive mind. You're thinking clearly. You're thinking for yourself. You're doing what it is that you love to do. You're doing what it is that, that serves you, that feels right to you. Ultimately, this is a good thing. No matter 
what ego flares or tempers may flare or ego battles you may get into, blah, blah, blah. I mean, ultimately, it's really not even worth it to, to fight against someone's ego. And that's, and I really feel like that's why we have the queen of swords energy here who's upright and facing us because it's like, look, this is not up for discussion. I'm not here to debate it with you. I'm not here to, to have an argument with you. I'm definitely not trying to fight your ego here. This is something that I need to do for myself, period. You can like it or you don't have to, but either way, you're not going to stop me. Again, this is not up for discussion. And this could be, and what I'm getting from this Five of Wands energy is there could be a masculine individual in your life, particularly a father figure that I'm really picking up on. That's probably, that, <laughs> it's probably really not going to like this. This is really going to trigger their ego somehow. And you're just going to have to stand your ground. Basically, I keep hearing a topic of contention. So this may have been something that has been, you know, on the horizon for a while or bubbling up for a while. It may be something that, you know, especially maybe this masculine figure, maybe even a father didn't want to discuss with you and kind of just brushed it off and just like avoided it every time maybe it came up in discussion and and now you're finally at a point where it's like, okay, well, you know what? We don't have to have a discussion about it, but you need to know the facts. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands in reverse. You need to know the facts. I'm not carrying this on my shoulder. I'm not carrying this burden on my shoulders. I'm not carrying this weight on my shoulders any longer. No, you know what? You're right. We don't have to have a discussion about it, but it is what it is. Take it or leave it. Like it literally could just be a situation where you just drop some nugget on people. Just matter of fact and just keep it moving. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then somebody's like, whoa, 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 where the hell is this coming from? And you're kind of like, what do you mean? I mean, we've tried to, to discuss this before, haven't we? Or it could just be a situation where they're like, where the hell is this coming from? And it's like, you know what? It was just time for me to tell you. Sorry, not sorry. Definitely not up for discussion. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's get into some clarification here. We're going to start with the Ten of Wands in reverse. I just want to look at some of the burdens that are being released here. Um, I keep hearing topic of contention. So let's, I, and I feel like this, it's the 10 of wands that's been coming that, where that, that, that I'm receiving that message from about from, I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll look at what the 10 of wands is for you. What are some of the things you're releasing here? What are some of the elements? To this release what are some things maybe you should know about this release let's just look a little deeper into this ten of wands energy for you ten of wands here ten of oh look at that the king of wands but it looks like the king of wands is in reverse here okay yeah it's the, the king of wands in reverse overall energy is the nine of cups um Interesting. So for some of you, this could be a release of a masculine figure, a masculine energy, maybe even a divine masculine counterpart. Um, and your satisfaction is going to come from that. Very interesting. It is very interesting how this has changed all of a sudden. Now, also, it could it could be that it definitely could be that for some of you, though, if that's what it is, if that's what it's talking about, the release of a divine masculine counterpart or just an, a, a masculine figure or someone, uh, some sort of romantic situation relationship in your life. This is the release of. Um, hmm. I'm hearing the release of karmic ties with this individual. It's weird, but it, it's weird, you guys, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, 
figure out wh what this energy is and it keeps shifting back and forth between like releasing some individual that might be really narcissistic or really ego driven or really ego based or something like that and it's also with the masculine side too it's like that's what you're releasing also some sort of ego driven energy has become but see it's become really burdensome it's really tiring it's like it's not it's not fulfilling you in the way that maybe you you thought you wanted it to or the way you thought it was going to and you're giving it up for more contentment nine of cups is at the bottom of the deck it's like when you no longer have to be in this Ego driven energy is that's how they, that's how spirit wants me to say it. Ego driven energy. Okay. When you're no longer in this ego driven energy, you have the space and the energy to just be free and enjoy yourself with the nine of cups here. It's like having all this ambition or having all this drive or keeping up this appearance was really tiresome for you. very interesting maybe this could maybe this could be some fe feminine figures out there that were really getting maybe maybe this was like a, a, a beginning stage of you integrating getting integrated or getting balanced within your masculine energy and maybe you slipped into an energy where you went really ego driven and you you know you embodied the twisted and narcissistic side of masculine energy, which makes perfect sense because in order for you to under have an understanding of it yourself and to balance that that energy, you would need to you would need to experience it to a certain extent in your own way. Whether it's you um, expressing it yourself or you experienced it through another external individual. Somehow though, you had to experience this in order to release it. I want to get a little bit more on this. Let's get a little bit more on this, please, Spirit. On this Ten of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. What else can you... Oh, the sun. The sun. Now, the sun can represent narcissism. Okay. Oh, but you have death here. Okay. <laughs> See, this is a good thing. So there is illumination here. Someone really understands. Either you or maybe someone you're connected to. I don't know. But someone here really understands... narcissism and ego-driven reality in a whole new way the illumination has been brought to you 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 finally see it clearer now you see, you might see it for what it truly is this may be an energy or an understanding of um how that has affected you maybe how it has negatively affected you how it may have negatively affected your relationships with people around you um it's just you see it clearer. You see things from a whole new perspective now with the sun energy. And it's and you have a change, a transformation. You have death here. You have a transformation. I I kind of want to keep pulling on this right here. Because this is this is the energy that's the most relevant. I mean, we know what this is. Maybe we can look at this five of wands. Yeah, we can look at that later. Um, I really, I really just want to pull here. Okay, so let's get let's see if we can get one more message here. What is this then? What, what else can you tell us here? What else can you tell us about this? Ten of wands in reverse with the sun. The king of wands in reverse. What do we have here? The emperor in reverse wow you guys holy moly so this is definitely giving up some sort of need to control it's giving up some sort of need to control okay also though it's not like because if we are talking because we literally could be talking to the divine masculine at this point in a like a divine counterpart or a twin flame situation because we have both of the cards, at least in my opinion, as a reader, that represent the divine masculine energies, the king of wands and the emperor. 
this doesn't mean if this is you, if you are the divine masculine here that, that we could be talking to, this doesn't mean that you are relinquishing your divine masculine status. That could never happen. Um, but what this does mean, what I, what I am seeing in this is you're starting to see how you can't control everything in the way that you want to. There is, there is a kind of an energy of surrender here in certain ways. With the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, though, this is like the truth. This is honesty. This is realization. This is understanding what you may have missed in the past. Um, in a need to controlling, in a need to be controlling, or in maybe a narcissistic type way. I really kind of get an energy of seeing the error of, kind of, uh, yeah, okay, we'll say it this way. Seeing the error of your ways, but it's much more than just, this is, excuse me, this is not like a personal attack on you. It's more seeing how things have come to be this way in terms of masculine energy or the twisted and, and dominant and narcissistic masculine energy that kind of runs rampant throughout our patriarchal society right now. It's literally, especially with the sun here, it's like you're seeing a much bigger picture view of everything. And that's allowing you to release these burdens, the Ten of Wands. It's also, I'm getting, this is very strongly for the masculine collective. Um, whether you're on a twin flame journey or not, it really doesn't matter. This could really resonate with you if you are more, more of a dominant masculine energy. Again, it doesn't have to do with gender either, okay? You could be a woman, physically a woman, but very resonant, strong, but you strongly resonate with, with masculine energy, okay? But this just feels like um, it's almost as if a light switch or, or something has shifted within the whole masculine collective that is allowing you to start to release yourself from the burdens that society has put on you in terms of, well, this is a man's responsibility or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I mean, that's not to say that you're really, you're, you're giving up any sort of energies of, you know, being the provider and all of that, because no, as a masculine energy, that is who you are naturally. Okay but it's reshaping it's revamping it's starting to become a lot there's it's like it's almost as if it's it, it's getting lighter that it, it's still a little bit of a burden it's a, it's quite a bit of a responsibility i don't even want to call it a burden it's a responsibility that you're that you are intrinsically in tune with however some of the stipulations some of the the um I don't know some of the i'm having trouble putting this into words but like some of the, the 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 requirements of it it's like it's being released or it's being lightened a bit you know it's not being it's not so rigid any longer or you're starting to see it in a much fluid much more flowy way and so that's allowing you to really release a lot of the ultimate burdens that have been really bugging you or really bogging you down about this and it's really just the main thing that I'm getting with this is the heaviest part about that, you, the heaviest thing that you're releasing is like the societal pressure or the societal conditioning or the, the hive mind element mentality or the, um, societal opinion, I guess we could say of how things should be, how a man should act, how a masculine energy should carry themselves, blah, 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 all that gender biases too, like that kind of energy, okay? Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to look at this five of wands here. Whoops. Well, would you look at that? So the six of cups just popped out. <laughs> okay. Um, so whatever it is that you're moving towards, this could be you moving towards... A soulmate relationship, a soulmate bond, a very deep bond, something that is very, that you are very connected to, like you can't get away from, okay? So we could be talking something as deep as a twin flame relationship, we could be, but it's a topic of con contention because it might be, you know, families might not like this, families might clash, this might be going against the norm for you or something, I don't know. But ultimately, there are going to be opinions flaring about this. Now also, oh look, death is still at the bottom of the deck. Now also what I'm picking up on here is this could be your energy. 
this doesn't necessarily have to be someone else's energy, but this could be your energy bubbling up to the surface talking about how I'm tired of you trying to keep me away from this person that I love so dearly, away from this person that I have such a strong connection to. I'm tired of you trying to stop me. Mm. Okay, let's see what else we have for this. Five of Wands, but also this Six of Cups that's come out with it. What else can you tell us about this, please, Spirit? Okay, what do we have? We have the Four of Pentacles with the Empress. <laughs> with the Empress at the bottom of the deck. All right, well, here we go. We have them. We have the counterparts yet again. We've got the Emperor here and we've got the Empress here. All right. Oh, and look at that. The Six of Wands is showing itself with the King of Pentacles right there. Okay. And the Ace of Cups. All right. Um, Foghorn. <laughs> um, so check it out. It's like... <sighs> this is interesting because it, what I'm getting with this Four of Pentacles energy on the Six of Cups, it's like you're holding on to dear for dear life. You are not letting go of this for anything. I really kind of want to see what, um, I want to see what this four of pentacles is, but basically what I'm picking up on here is someone, someone has a soulmate relationship, a soulmate bond with a divine feminine, with an empress, with an empress. Duh. Okay, fine. Um, it's a topic of contention because there, there have been so many obstacles standing in the way. There, is so, there has been so much that's been holding you back from this individual. And now you're getting to the point where it's like, I'm tired of having... What is What am I hearing? I'm tired of pushing this aside. I'm tired of being kept at bay. I'm tired of keeping being kept or keeping this person at arm's length. This is someone that I know I have a bond with. I know I have a connection with. And it's not something I'm ever going to really let go of. But it's also not something I'm willing to let go of. I don't want to let this go. She is my divine counterpart. Or this person is my divine counterpart. The Empress. To your Emperor. And with this energy here that you have. The Ten of Wands. The King of Wands in reverse. The Emperor in reverse with the Sun. It's like you're releasing some ego that has been keeping you away. You're seeing clearly now for what something truly is with the sun energy. I want to look at this four of pentacles a little deeper, though. Let's look at this. What's what's this four of pentacles? Ooh. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Oh, it's the seven of pentacles. Oh, but you're right. It was reversed. Okay. And they told me when it came out, they told me it was reversed. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, wow. All right. I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling for this, but I also want to get a little bit more too. what I'm kind of getting already is that this is an energy of, you know, almost starting over. You're not receiving the harvest that you've been looking for. Things have not been working out the way that you wanted them to while you've been in this energy. King of Wands and the Emperor reverse, just being overly controlling. And so now... And now the energy is bubbling up to the surface and it's like, look, I've got to change my approach here. Let's get a little bit more, please, Spirit. What else can you tell us about this? What else can you tell us about this? King of Swords. There you go. <laughs> There's the king to the queen. That's enough. With the Queen of Cups in reverse. That's interesting. And the Nine of Swords. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. Give me... 
Give me just a second here. Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse here? Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse? I almost feel like this is an energy of um, not giving into the emotions anymore and just see, just working on seeing something as clearly as you possibly can. Because what could have been holding you back in the past were the emotions and being afraid of the emotions and not being able to deal with the emotions. But now it's like, no, we're not, we're not doing that any longer. Yeah, because nothing else is coming out here. So I think that's really what it is. Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse? Tell me a little bit more about this Queen of Cups in reverse, please. The Six of Swords. Okay. All right. Um... Interesting, with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so... Very interesting. There's an energy of leaving the past behind. There's an energy of... Um, I'm hearing wish fulfillment. Interesting. Um, We're not allowing ourselves to be too emotional about it. That's what I'm hearing with this. And we're looking at the straight facts. And the straight facts is that I have this soul bond. I have this romantic relationship. I have this connection here. And I'm not willing to let it go. Something hasn't been working the way I wanted it to. And thus, we're going to move forward. We're going to leave the past behind. We're going to move from rough waters to calmer waters. And we're going to make this work. We're going to make this happen. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move to um, the clarification section. Because I could literally, like, I could, guys, I could literally sit here and pull for this one spot, one pile. It feels like forever. So what I want to, what I really want to do is I want to get, oops, I want to get um, spirits, guidance, source, guidance, from the Golden Universal Tarot, and then we'll move on to the your Oracle, which I believe is going to come from the Crystal Mandala today. So, just your last bit of advice here, Spirit. Last shuffle. So, a little bit of advice here, or like last piece of advice, Spirit. What is your closing message? What do you want to tell us? What do you want to say about this, please, spirit? So we have strength. Uh-huh. Okay. Overall energy is the three of wands again. So, okay, good. So what spirit is saying here is you're absolutely on your right, on the right path. Just keep going. Keep striving ahead. Don't worry about it. Stay strong, okay? Strength was in the pre-shuffle. All right, so you're really facing the devil right now for whomever this is for, okay? you. Oh, shit, there's the devil. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But look, you really are facing the devil right now. But you see, the, the thing about it is, and I want to say the problem here, and the problem is for the devil. The problem is you have the wisdom, you have the understanding, the Ace of Swords. That's all you need to stand up to this devil energy. You are, in fact, on the right path here. So stay in your wisdom, stay in your truth, stay in your honesty, stay in your integrity, and everything is going to be fine. Like, you're literally facing the devil head on, but this time, you're not facing the devil because, you know, he's he's rearing his ugly head or he's showing himself to you and you're almost kind of cowering just trying to keep it together. No, it's almost as if you're, like, stepping straight up to the devil and says, your time is done here. Your time is done. So you might as well pack up and leave right now. Or things are probably going to get really ugly for you. Just saying, I'm not trying to make any threats out there. I'm just telling you the truth, buddy. You might want to pack up and leave now. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Thank you, spirit. We're going to leave it there. <laughs> and we're going to get your oracle guidance for today. Wow. This is a really this is a really good message, you guys. For some of you masculines out there, you could be leaving behind some sort of emotionally manipulative feminine energy. It might be a mother. Interesting. It could be your mother that is keeping you from, from or at least has been trying to, or has been working towards keeping you away or distant from this relationship. Very interesting. And yeah, with that seven of pentacles in reverse, I really feel like it's finally come to a point where you recognize that you're not receiving the harvest that you want. And so it might be time for you to let go of something with that four of pentacles. But ultimately, I also feel like you're not trying to let go of this soulmate bond here with the six of cups. Okay, all right, let's get your oracle guidance now. Just one more shuffle. Here we go. Oracle guidance, please, for today, February 11th, 2020. There it is right there. Oh, wow. Well, would you look at that, kids? Card number 47, which does, does boil down to an 11. But it's Goddess Rhiannon and Amazon uh, Am Am Amazonite. <laughs> Amazonite? Amazonite, there it is. Integrity. Well, shit. Integrity. And let me tell you, I've been using this deck for damn near over two years now. I've, I mean, I used, I've been using this deck since I started my channel. And this card rarely comes out. Like, I cannot remember the last time this card has come out. Okay, so... I love to see this right now. And it absolutely has, it goes right a lot, right in line, hand in hand with what we've been talking about here. Okay. Here we go. We bring you the empowerment of integrity. Integrity is the harmony between intention, word, and action. It is a discipline of love that creates inner security, confidence, and self-esteem. Integrity allows you to choose what promises you make according to the reasons that have meaning for you. It empowers you to make decisions that feel authentic and honor your values. It allows you to say no without guilt or shame because you are not willing to compromise who you are to make another comfortable. As you honor your words and actions, doing what you say you will do, when you, ask, when you say you will do it, you grow power and respect within. You can express your integrity absolutely, and yet with kindness and compassion. Integrity is the gift that will bring you a powerful peace of mind and loving respect, self-respect. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit more of this. Give me a second here, though. You know what? I really should just I really should just read this whole thing. So we're going to read the whole thing. Here we go. The more choice and freedom you have, the more integrity you will need. The more you feel aware of and compassionate towards the needs of others and the more integrity you will need. Integrity is your anchor to self. It is authenticity in expression. You experience your integrity as a feeling of, quote, rightness when you are in alignment with yourself and a feeling of something being not quite right, uncomfortable, or even anxiety or anger inducing when you are being urged to break with your integrity to make another comfortable. You know what you need to do or not do. And when you step away from that, not honoring yourself, you, are, you will experience psychological, emotional, or even physical discomfort. You will not feel good about the choices you are making. That is, a, is your sign you have in, that you have integrity and that it is calling you back to your truths. Integrity is a sign of character developed over time. 
It exists when a person cares about their words and actions, their intentions, and the impact of their life on others, that they are willing to make the sometimes rough, I'm sorry, tough calls and not always take the path that seems easiest. Integrity doesn't make life harder, however. It actually makes it more enjoyable. Every time you ex exercise your integrity in your choices, you'll feel good about yourself. Eventually, even if your mind goes into fear at saying no, for example, worrying that you've upset someone or missed out on an amazing opportunity that just didn't feel right no matter how many ways you tried to make it work, the good feeling you get from being in integrity will grow stronger. It will develop to the point where you cannot tolerate not being in integrity. Nothing will be worth it. The contemporary expression for this is that you won't be willing to sell out or sell your soul to get something or someone. What happens as you build your integrity muscles is that your ability to attract what you need actually grows. Your light and presence become more magnetic. Instead of needing to chase after what you feel you need or want, you stand still and draw the right people and opportunities to you. You have less fear and more trust. You like who you are and know that you are valuable and any person or dream that asks you to abandon yourself is not worth the cost. This oracle brings you a message. If you have already made a decision based on integrity and are having second doubts, don't. You have done the right thing and you will benefit more from this than you realize, even if it seems to your mind that you have suffered a loss. If you are in a situation where you feel your integrity is being challenged or find yourself in such a place in the near future, trust yourself, be authentic. You have worked too hard and come too far to throw yourself away for anything or anyone. Hold on to you, stand firm in what is true for you. Well, that sounds like it's pretty perfect, yeah? So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.